Hello and welcome to our first session of a regression analysis tutorial series. In this video we will show you how to use the NAM Excel program to construct a regression model. We will use a sample data set gathered from 20 different salespeople. Weekly sales is the dependent variable, while two explanatory variables are intelligence and extraversion. Note how we organize our input data. Values for each variable are placed in separate columns and each observation, or salesman, is represented by a separate row. Let's begin. Select an empty cell in your worksheet where you wish for the output to be generated. Then click on the regression icon on the NUM Excel tab. The regression wizard pops up. By default, the output cells range is set to the current selected cell in your worksheet. Select the cells range for the response-dependent variable values. Then select the cells range for the explanatory or independent variables values. Note the cells range can include the column headings, which will be used in the output tables. Leave the variable mask field blank for now. We will revisit this field in other videos. Finally, once we select the X and Y cells range, the options, forecast, and missing values tabs become available. Initially, the Options tab is set to the following values. First, the regression intercept constant is left blank. This indicates that the regression intercept will be estimated by the regression. If you want to set the regression to a fixed value, enter it here. The significance level is set to 5%. In the Output section, the most common regression analysis is selected. Lastly, let's leave Auto Modeling unchecked. We will discuss this option in a later video. Now, click on the Missing Values tab. In this tab, you can select your approach to handling missing values in a data set. By default, any missing value found in X or in Y observations would be excluded from the analysis. This treatment is a good approach for our analysis, so let's leave it unchanged. Now, click OK to generate the output tables. Let's now examine the different output tables more closely. In the regression statistics table, a number of summary statistics for the regression model's goodness of fit is displayed. In our example, the adjusted R-square is 28%. Before we can seriously consider the regression model, we must answer the following question. Is the regression model statistically significant, or is the statistical data an anomaly? The analysis of variance, or ANOVA table, answers this question. In the first row of the table, in regression, we compute the test score and the p-value, and then compare them against the significance level. In our case, the regression model is statistically valid, and it does explain some of the variation in values of the dependent variable, or the weekly sales. The remaining calculations in the table are simply there to help us get to this point. In our example, the regression proved to be significant, once we confirm that the regression model explains some of the variation in the values of the response variable, or the weekly sales, we can examine the residuals to make sure that the underlying model's assumptions are met. Using the standardized residuals, we perform a series of statistical tests for the mean, variance, skew, excess kurtosis, and the normality assumptions. In this example, the standardized residuals passed all of our tests. Once we establish that the regression model is significant, we can look closer at the regression coefficients. Each coefficient, including the intercept, is shown on a separate row, and we compute the following statistics. Mean value, standard error, test score for significance test hypothesis, p-value and the upper and lower limit for the confidence interval, and accept-reject decision for the hypothesis. In our example, only the extraversion variable was found significant, while the intercept and the intelligence were not found significant. That is it for now. Thank you for watching.